Hey, welcome back. Now that you know how to manage your text and your graphics, let's put them together to create a powerful image. Let's create a really cool reflection effect. So we're gonna pick a template. It kinda doesn't matter which template you want. I mean, which template you're gonna use. So let's just grab any template. I'm gonna click this one. And when it launches, I for this particular graphic, I'm not gonna use the rocket or the smoke effect or probably even this. Um, I'm gonna make the canvas a little bit wider and I'm gonna make it pretty big. Then I'm gonna come up here to the photos and videos tab and I'm gonna type in uh, Canada. So I can show you, see if I can get some water, uh, a mountains with some water or something. Oh, look at that, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this picture over. I'm gonna make it fill the canvas and I'll bring it to the back. Okay, I don't need this, but I'm gonna keep it for a, minute, for a little bit. Okay, so we have the word entrepreneur, so we're going to double click it and I'll say uh, Canada, I guess, right? And let's make it fairly big. So there's my word Canada. I don't want, I'm gonna click this to get, make that go away. I'm gonna, I don't want the outline. You can see the outline there. I don't want that. I'm gonna take off the outline. Make it just a tad bigger. Okay, now to, re to create a reflection, we're gonna do two things. I'm going to duplicate the text, okay? So it's the same text, but then I'm also going to flip it upside down by grabbing this handle and just flipping it, all right? And there's the first part of the reflection. Now we have to make it fade. Now you can do a couple of things. You can do a text opacity and bring it down like that and it kind of works, right? This is an ice lake or something, kind of cool. All right, or I have somewhere around this video, if you're watching the video on YouTube, it'll be in the description. If you're watching it on Facebook, um, you'll have it, I'll have it in the comments section. Look around, there's a zip file that contains uh, three or four uh, transparencies that I've created for this tutorial. I have these uh, faded transparencies. When you drag an image over text, um, you can fill the text with an image. I've created a transparency that, that gradients, gradiates from white to uh, transparent. So let's take the one that says upside down because our word is upside down. And I'm gonna click and drag it right over the text. Okay? So now instead of a, a hard fade, it, it, I mean a hard transparency uh, text opacity, it's gonna fade from top to bottom. So I'm going to go over to the text color and I'm gonna mess around with the width slider here. And you'll notice that I can kind of manipulate the transparency a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go right about there. And now I'm gonna take the opacity and I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit less harsh. And there is our cool reflection in a couple of minutes. And now let's do, uh, let's say, welcome to Canada. Cool. In about two minutes, have a great looking poster, great Facebook post. There you go. In the next video, we're going to learn how to save your designs correctly. It's super easy, but it's going to be super powerful. See you there.